I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is a new item, and I'm gonna try something different. So we'll see how what happens. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I think I have in mind what I wanna do. So I'm gonna lay down just a little bit of epoxy. Just a little bit. And I think this is gonna take quite a bit of epoxy. So I'll probably get one layer down and then um, have to add more. And that's okay, because that way if my colors aren't perfect or where I want them, I can always add more, make them darker, different layers. So hopefully this turns out. I don't know. I've never done one this big. And I don't know if my idea in my head is going to look as good on the tray. So we shall see. I'm just basically kind of getting a layer down, a small, thin layer, um, in certain spots where I'm going to lay something. That way it's kind of sticky, I guess, because it's something to stick to. And I have to work kind of fast because this isn't KS resin. Um, I don't have as long of a working time with this resin here. Um, but this is the one I use for molds because it's not as expensive. Oops. So just getting a little bit down. And maybe I should have done that ahead of time. That's okay. Just a little bit. Not worried about bubbles because I'm going to go back in um, and spritz it with alcohol after I get my first layer down. Remove the bubbles because um, you don't really want to use heat on your molds because you could damage the molds. Okay, I think I got my corners good enough, just enough to get it going. Of course, I'm gonna be pouring more, I just wanted to get something down there. Okay, take my gloves off just for a second. And now I have never done this, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully this will turn out. I guess I do need my gloves on. I um, picked a bunch of flowers from my garden. and Not my garden, my flower garden, I guess you would say. And um, I've never pressed flowers before. But I had so many of them that I didn't want, you know, they die after a few and you don't get to enjoy how pretty they are. So I picked a bunch and I was like, well, I kind of looked at um, how to dry flowers, but I didn't have um, newspaper laying around and I didn't have, um, what was the other thing they used? I don't want to say, maybe parchment paper. Maybe it was parchment paper. All I had was wax paper. So I was like, well, that's got to be about the same thing, right? So I used wax paper and <laughs> I don't know if my flowers were moist or what, but they, um, they mildewed in between my book. Thankfully, it was just a catalog, a big old thick catalog, so it was no big deal. Okay, there's those three said I don't know what this is gonna look like this is a personal tray unless just because it was my first one so I wanted to make sure it was gonna work how much epoxy it took yada 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 <clears throat> so hopefully this one look turns out okay and hopefully you don't get too bored of watching me oops I didn't get any epoxy down there it's just that way they stick. Okay, a little bit over there. And then I got one more flower. And I'm gonna change my gloves because I got epoxy everywhere. Let's see, let's go you down here. Okay, one second while I change gloves. I cannot find blue nitrile gloves anywhere. They are sold out everywhere. And all I can find is these stupid vinyl gloves which are way too big for my hands so I have to keep like pulling and adjusting them but you got to do what you got to do okay so there's those guys so we'll make sure they're all pushed down 
and kind of coat it if possible so they don't move while I pour the other stuff in. Oh, stick that guy it might be a little thick, but he'll dry. Just gonna wipe him down just a little bit. Sorry guys, you ain't got nothing better to do, right? Okay, there's that. Let's see what happens. A little bit more epoxy, and I hope I got enough, and like I said, I probably won't. Just to kind of give it some extra. A little bit left, not much. I know I'm gonna have to go back and do some more. Okay, again, I do not know if this is gonna work or what it's gonna look like. A little bit more up there, a little bit more in the corner. My table is not the most level, <laughs> so things like to kinda scooch down a little. Just want to make sure I got some. I mean, eventually, I just want to make sure everything's going to stick because I obviously do not have enough epoxy for this entire tray to fill it up completely. So, just want to make sure what I'm going to put in is going to stick. Okay. All right, now I was gonna go with this. I think this would be a plastic cup. This is just glass, little glass shards. Just gonna give it some like extra, 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 I guess. A little extra, extra. Now, oh, I gotta move quickly because I've got to find my other handle. Probably, because I wanna make sure I have room for it. I'm gonna put it right here. I'll go ahead and stick that one in there and then I'll hurry up in the video after I get most of it done. That way I can at least see what I'm doing here. So see, it's gonna be a serving tray, decorative bedroom tray table tray, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Okay, push some of this down here a little bit. It's not super, super, super thick. down a little bit more. Okay. That will do. That'll do, pig. Actually, real quick, let's just go ahead and go around the edge here to kind of blend it. And I need to get my handle. I'll just move. Oop. I just uh, move that around once I get my other handle in there on the other side. Over a little bit, just to kind of blend that glass in there. That way it, I don't have to come up around with some different color or something on the edge. There we go. There we go. Look pretty even. I think it would 
looks pretty, pretty even. Should I go all the way around? What the hell? Let's go all the way around. Move my flower down just a little. Let's go all the way around. Thin. I mean, this is gonna be super sparkly when we're done. Let's go all the way around a really thin, really thin coat right here. Just kind of blend it all together, and that way, that way I don't have colors. They're more, I guess, uniform with what I'm doing. Good to go. Good to go. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Okay. Gloves back on. Now let's drizzle in some color. And it is getting a little warm, so we need to hurry. That means it's starting to set, and it's going to get thicker and thicker and harder to work with. Okay, I want clear. And then I gotta run in. I think it's in my purse because I was gonna grab more. Okay, sorry guys. It's gonna end up being a super long video. Uh, again, I don't know what this is gonna look like. Let's go white. I'm going no rhyme or reason with my colors. Just getting them. In. This one is uh, Promiscuous by the Glitter Guinness. It's a beautiful sparkly white with a bunch of iridescent color shifting colors in it. And I just think it's so pretty. Really thick right there, really thick right here. Again, hopefully this turns out pretty. Like I got it in my head. I got a little dot over here, so I think I'm gonna put a dot there. Sorry for rambling and rambling. All right, my reason just kind of what I had in my head of what I was gonna do. We don't waste any of this gorgeous glitter. Everything's cool. Okay, there's that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stuff's getting really warm. Of course, I mixed it before I went went to the video because that way, it, you know, you don't have to sit there and watch me stir.
uh, the orange that I just used, the coral, is called Coral Crush. And that one is by Glitter Craze. This one is I Love Rock and Roll. And again, it is by the Glitter Getters. She's got some absolutely beautiful colors, gorgeous color shifting colors, all kinds of stuff. I am kind of dripping extra, but it should be all right. It's dripping off my cup. Oh, it's dripping off my glove. That's what it is. Let's see if I can push just a little bit of this out of my way. Probably should have mixed some more white. I might have a little bit left. Coral. Adding a little bit of this coral over here. Okay. And I'm hoping I got enough to do just a little bit more white. Actually, made too much of the I love rock and roll. A little too much of the dark. I just have enough. Almost there. Well, not technically. I gotta go grab the other handle. But you don't have to watch that part. Okay, there's that. Now, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done the dark. So, I'm going to, instead of doing it like this, we're going to do it like this. Just gonna mix it around. not so uniform now since it I didn't really like the dark in the the way the shape that I did it I guess so I'm just gonna move it around a little it's been all that time <laughs> it's the way it works trial and error and things don't always work in your head out or they don't always work out what you got in your head as to what you got 
going on on the actual surface. <laughs> Did that even make any sense? Yeah, I'm sitting here and did all that talking and I'm probably not even going to post this stupid video. Because it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> 